I know what a lot of you are thinking out there. Oh boy, another stinking razor death adder. And I want to stop you right there. Yeah, it's another death adder, but there's a lot to this death adder. I would honestly say, kind of cut into the chase right here, this is the best death adder. So that might have concluded the video for some of you out there, but if you want to know why I'm calling it the best death adder, stay tuned and we're going to talk a lot about it. So number one, shape and dimensions. Yeah, it's that tried and true, that fantastic ergonomic shape of the Razer Death Adder. You still get it there. Just looking at it like this, you can pretty much see some of the key differences, right? And we'll get into that here. But now, one thing I wanna show you, as we're looking at it top down, just kind of looking at the texture right here, you kind of see it in the lights right there, just the graininess even on the sides right here. Now you don't have the grips on the side, but you can just see the graininess on the top and all the way around. You have that really nice textured PBT feeling right there. So it's very grippy in the hand, even without the grips over there. Now, as far as the case as well, whoopsie daisy, you can also take the top off. As you see, I have my battery in there and on Razer's website, they're showing where you can get into the customized thing coming soon and get different face plates. Will you be able to make it your own? I'm not sure, or will they have some pre-made designs? But anyways, Big difference right there, how these can pop off. Now, getting back to the texture, one thing I wanna show you, by the way, it just magnetizes on there. I wanna show you compared to some other Death Adders. Here's the Death Adder Elite. And again, looking straight down, you can just see how smooth that texture is compared to this here. Now, you got the little dab of rubber grip over there. It was pretty nice, perfectly fine. But just feeling the difference, they just slide around right there. This guy's just, again, it feels like a PBT keycap on your keyboard. Now swinging it over here, we'll come to the Death Adder V2X or whatever it's called right here. This one has a slightly grippier texture compared to the other one we looked at. But again, just looking like this, right there, you can just clear as day C. That also goes with the V2 Pro over here. This has the same texture as the V2X. Again, if I'm naming that right, you can just clear as day C the grippier texture on the new one here. And believe it or not, even with a death adder that's using batteries, they maintain that weight shockingly well. Let's pull out the scale here. Now I'll let you see without any batteries in there. Of course, you're gonna need a battery, but anyway, 77.2 with no batteries, no dongle. So again, when we pop off our back bit here, we're gonna test it with a lithium ion AAA and then a regular AA. This is the battery that comes with it. And as you see, the battery's sitting there at an angle, just kind of like what we saw with the Orochi. And why they do that is, again, it just balances out that weight a lot more. So if your battery's going straight forward in the back, you're gonna feel that weight in the back. Or again, if it's in the front, you'll feel the weight in the front. But with it going sideways there, again, you, you, you can't even tell the battery's in there. It's balanced out very nice. So let's get our shell back on, slap it on there, and we're gonna get 100.7 grams, kind of right at that top and point, right? I mean, it's still nice, right? It's not incredibly heavy. It's still balanced with that battery in there. So if you like a heavier death adder, heavier mouse, go with that AA, you'll be perfectly fine. But where I have been using it over here is with the AAA, the AAA lithium ion right here. I'll leave the link for these right down in the description. They don't run that much, but again, it just makes a world of difference. So we'll slap that little guy in there, get our shell back on, put it on and we're gonna get 85 grams. Wow, guys, and let me tell you what, just like with the AA, if you like that heavier mouse, go with the AA. But if you want that lighter, I feel like this is perfectly balanced right here with the AAA lithium. I mean, no joke, it is stinking fantastic in the hand. L let me just chime in here. This is this is pretty cool. Y'all remember with the Orochi, I don't know where it is, the Orochi mouse, I griped, I said, yo, why is Razer even advertising the weight of the mouse without a battery? You stink and need a battery. Who cares about the weight without a battery? I thought that was cheesy marketing. Cool thing right here is they av actually advertise it as the weight, what was it, uh, 85 grams right there, which is gonna be with that AAA lithium battery right there. I think that's really cool. Good move right there, Razer, for actually advertising how we would use it. And honestly, that's how I would recommend it. Get yourself some AAA lithium battery, slap it in there, and let me tell you what, this thing feels like a stinking gem. Now, since we just took a look at the weight on the V2X death out of here, let's size it up to some other ones to just get a comparison so you can decide, is it worth that upgrade pending whichever death out you're using there? So anyways, let's pull over to the original. This is the Elite, actually. Now, you have the cable, so there's gonna be a little bit more weight right here. We're getting 95, and again, that's gonna depend where your cable is, how you're gonna really feel that weight. 
95.9 here. Not too bad. All right, so now this is the Death Adder V2. You have the lighter paracord cable here. You're getting that 82.8, again, pending how or where the cable is going to be. Now coming over to the Death Adder V2 Pro, our dongle is out. We are getting 86.4. And just to wrap it up so you can see, we are getting 85 with a AAA lithium ion battery. All right, so as you're catching here, there's quite a bit difference with this mouse, right? But it's all rounding out. We're gonna talk about a few more differences here. Number one, looking underneath the mouse. 100% PTFE feet, and then you have Bluetooth and wireless mode right there. Now you don't have a profile button, and you don't have that DPI button up top. Out of the box, these are set to your DPI buttons, up and down, right on the side right there. But again, looking on the bottom, I wanna pull out the Pro. All right, the Death Adder V2 Pro. There's your dongle storage, also known as Dorge. If you've been around here for a while, dongle storage or Dorge is up there. So over here, you can set the Pro on the dock. You also have Bluetooth 2.4 and then your profile button. Then up top, you have DPI buttons. So right there, compared to the Pro, if we're going wireless to wireless Death Adder, there's some significant differences right here. Is that DPI button uh, beneficial? Is it something you need? Right, you can have it right here and also have your profile button. Over here, it's pretty much one or the other. Me personally, I don't switch my DPI. I pretty much leave it at 800, then I dabble with it in games. So me personally, I'm perfectly stinking fine. But how about that? On this guy, still getting Bluetooth and 2.4. Wow, absolutely awesome. Now, a lot of you are probably asking about battery life. Uh, I gotta pull up the website because there's so many different configurations with different batteries that you're gonna use right there, whether if you use Bluetooth or wireless, but again, the, the battery life is extremely long, no matter which way you're using it right there. Again, get on the site, kind of tweak it how you want, and you'll see the battery life. Now, why that battery life is also going to last a lot longer is there's no RGB on this. Compared to the other Death Adders where you had the logo, some of them you had the scroll wheel, this guy has no RGB. Me personally, high stinking five. I'm not an RGB crazed person. I got a couple lights on, you know what I mean? But I don't need a stinking disco, right? You know, believe it or not, even on my Death Adder V2 Pro, I went into the software and disabled the RGB. I kept it off. Why, you ask? Well, because your stinking needs Synapse open to keep your RGB effect on. It'll save you DPIs and everything, but for the RGB to save, you need DP uh, Synapse open or, let, or it will start cycling rainbow effects. That goes as well for the dock, right? I turn the RGB off so it doesn't stay lit up green. My setup's red. If I got green going on, it's gonna look like a stinking Christmas. I love Christmas, by the way, all right? I'm not the Grinch, I love Christmas. But anyways, I want my RGB to match. So I always just disabled RGB. Plus, heck, your hand's gonna be covered, so who cares? All right, so let's talk about one of the juiciest things about this new Death Out of Here. Those two buttons on the front. First off, let me give you a sound test, all right? So you can hear them here. So as you're hearing, they're all very clicky. They're using the V2 razor switches. They're not using opticals like you had. Not, well, but yeah, I think that one was using opticals to the V2 and then the V2 Pro, they were using the optical switches. If you wanna hear if there's a difference, So as you can hear right there, the optical ones, they definitely sound a lot lighter and they clear as they feel a lot lighter. This is almost like your traditional mouse click switch that you feel right there. Come into these, they feel a lot lighter. Now at first, the opticals, I really didn't like them. They just felt, again, a little soft. Some said a little mushy, you know. It didn't bother me. I used to that that so much, but now coming to this, if I'm using that so much, right, I clear as they feel the difference. They're a little firmer. Clear as day clicky, you can clear as day decipher your presses right there, right? Now, I wanna to touch on these two buttons on the side right there. At first, I was I was a little iffy about them, right? I was kinda of like, mm, okay, am I gonna accidentally touch those? Like in the middle heated moment, am I gonna end up bonking those? And let me squash that right there. Not at all. I'm a wider gripper, tighter gripper, right? I use bigger mice. 
Never once did I accidentally bonk into those. And it's cool because it kind of swoops, right? So if you look at it right here, you see the curve of the uh, button right there, the main mouse button, it kind of swoops around. You actually got to slide up and over to get to these guys. If you can see it right there in the camera, I'm not sure if my lighting is going to catch it good enough for you guys. But again, the main button swoops, then it comes down to these. So again, you're going to be here like this and you actually got to slide over and dip down a pinch to get to those. Now, on the other hand, you might be thinking, well, that sounds kind of like a pain to use. And honestly, you're using your one and two the most out of anything, and then your side buttons, right? These are, bind them to something, I don't, I don't know, a shortcut to your playlist or whatever it may be. What I tried to do, y'all know I play a lot of New World lately, right? I tried to use this as my New World mouse. I reset my bindings and tweaked it. It worked, it worked great. But me, I'm so used to that Logitech G604 that I recently did my New World mouse video. Go check it out if you haven't. I'm just so used to all the buttons for that game. You know what I mean? That it, it didn't really work out for me. But if you're used to your keyboard settings, you bind this to, I don't know, like a special ability or, you know, maybe a grenade or something like that. Yo, no joke. This is stinking awesome. And I hope every Death Adder in the future does this. What if they add two more on this side? Yo, you can be like this, beep, 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 over there, Death Adder, come on. Yo, that'd be so cool, Death Adder. Razor, I mean, right? You put, you have the two over here. What if you put two more over there? Oh, please make that happen. Yo, that would be so cool. Anyways, don't worry about the buttons. You're not gonna accidentally press them. If you need them, yo, they're gonna work out for you. If you don't wanna use them, heck, don't use them. They don't get in your way but I see them as a clear as day benefit and I stink and love it. All right, so one last topic I wanna to touch on here and that is as far as performance, more or less talking about this sensor right here. They're using the 5G sensor, same as they used on the older Death Adder Elite mice. The new ones use the Focus Plus. Now, let, let's talk about that. I don't really talk about sensors in my mice reviews at all these days because they're all stinking top notch you'll be hard pressed to tell a difference from any. I honestly can't, you know what I mean? And talking about that straight to the point, can I tell a difference from this 5G, say an older sensor, if we wanna call it that, to the new Focus Plus? No, you can't tell a difference at all. You can't. It's, it's just like, if someone says they can tell a difference from these sensors, they are 100% full of stinking baloney. This mouse performs top notch so let's wrap this up right here right i think i think there's a lot we got to conclude right here number one out the gate the mouse is 59.99 60 bucks okay clear as day hands down no questions asked yes it's worth it easily easily worth it from the build solid build great performance awesome specs just the features packed into it i, I love it right now let's talk about it this way because i think this is more important other than even the price or whatever is it worth upgrading from one of your other death adders if you have one. Let's go on and start right here with the Elite, one of the older mice. Is it worth upgrading with that? Hands down. Yo, this cable, yo, it's horrible. This cable is bad. The weight's not bad on this. The performance is great, you know what I mean? I love the grippier texture on this, but the cable, I say all day long, wireless is the future. I main wireless mice. I will wireless mice all day long. I can't even use a wired mouse stick these days, you know what I mean? Let's talk about this. The Razer Death Adder V2 here. Is it worth upgrading from that? This is a great mouse. And I've mained all of these for multiple, multiple times. And the Death Adder, since I started PC gaming, by the way, the Death Adder has never left my desk, right? One way or another, in one model or the other. Is it worth upgrading from the newer V2? Yes. Again, the weight matches it right there with that AAA. The build is fantastic. I love the, again, the grippier texture. I love the extra buttons right there. It's wireless, guys. You have Bluetooth and wireless for 60 bucks. Yo, ditch the wires, man. I'm, I'm telling you what, ditch the wires. It, it's a game changing. It really is. And if any is a question, by the way, no lag or anything like that. More importantly, the Death Adder V2 Pro. Is it worth, I don't know, can we call this upgrading? Is it worth upgrading to this one? I don't know if we can call it an upgrade. Is it worth changing? Let me tell you what, with the AAA in here, it's not much drastically different, but it just feels lighter. It does, it just balances really nicely. I like the extra buttons on it. I like how there's no RGB on it, so I don't gotta get into the software and tweak it. I love the smooth design where they cut out the, in my main review of this, I didn't like that glossy bit in the middle. Nitpicky, 
complaining, sure, all day long. Not, not a big deal, right? But I love this smooth look right here. On the bottom, I also love how the cutout is not there for the dock because occasionally you feel that little drag of that on your mouse pad. Me being a tighter gripper, a firmer presser, I feel that. Over here, you have that standard bottom. So all in all, right there, just talking about it from the other ones, I love it. Like I stated in the beginning, it is the best death adder yet. From price to value, performance, build, everything. Hands down, best death that are yet. So wait, let me know down in the comments what you think about this mouse. Do you think it deserves all the praise I'm getting right here? I, again, it makes me nerdy. This, it's been a while since a piece of tech has made me this giddy. I mean, I get excited about a lot of products, right? But something like this is just, man, I stink and love it and I highly recommend it. Let me know what you think about it right down in the comments right there. And thank you so much for stopping by and watching this one. And I hope I helped you out one way or another if you're checking out this mouse or heck a new mouse out there. If you did, hit that, if you did, if I did, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the future tech videos. Hey, I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye now.